Hello and happy Friday. It is time for makeup therapy and I'm super excited today. We are in my office today because I thought, why not? Let's film in a different room every video. So uh, yeah, we're in my office. We're just gonna chill, we're gonna sit, we're gonna hang out, talk about makeup, relax, take a breather not stress not worry enjoy a beverage i've got an iced coffee so make sure you go grab uh, something to drink something to eat and then if you have time or if you are in the mood grab your makeup lay it out on your table we can do a little makeup together do a little girlfriend chat i've got a big bin back here of some new stuff that some of it i've tried on my channel I think the majority of it I have not shown y'all yet, um, but I've just been collecting a few new things and I thought we'd just kind of sit and talk about them today and just have fun and relax. So of course, grab yourself something to drink, grab a snack, grab your dinner, and let's go ahead and get into it. So I've got a pretty good sized bin of goodies here and um, I've just kind of got a mixture of different brands and uh, some of these are first impressions, uh, some other products I've been using. Uh, the first, uh, I'm going to prep my skin with this Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Now this is a cult favorite from the brand, I feel like everyone talks about this product. Uh, they actually did send this to me. And I've been trying it out for about, I want to say two weeks, and I love this. It's so, so good. Uh, so I'm just going to dab some of this under my eye. It's, uh, the problem I have with eye creams is that they're usually not moisturizing enough for me. I feel like they're always too light, too much of like a gel consistency or something. I like something a little bit heavier. So what I usually use is Waleda Skin Food as an eye cream, but I've been loving this. It's just hydrating enough. It works really well under makeup. It smells like some kind of baked good. I wouldn't say it smells like bananas or anything. Some kind of baked good though. It smells really good. So I'm just going to work this into my eye area. All right, and then I also have this True Luscious Spellbinder Makeup Setting Spray. Uh, it says it's infused with pineapple juice and rose water. And it says that um, you can use it underneath your makeup or on top of your makeup. So I kind of want to try this today as well. It says to shake it really good. Um, True and Luscious is a brand um, that is relatively new to me. They are a smaller brand. If you've seen me use their Lucky Glow palette, it has the bronzer and the blush and the highlights. Uh, that's the same company as this. I love that palette. Um, so I'm super excited to try this. They only have a few products in their range, but I'm kind of excited to see where they go because I've liked everything that I've tried. So I'm gonna spritz my face with this. Whoa. All right. That is, uh, that is an intense spray. I don't know if I'd apply that on top of makeup because <laughs> that was a lot. I'm just gonna kind of press that in. All right, and then one last prep step, I promise. I have this Wander Beauty Smooth Sailing Perfecting Primer. It says it's a skin smoothing, oil-free pri oil primer that mattifies, minimizes pores. Ugh, I can't read. And blurs imperfections. It's a silky, lightweight formula that blends seamlessly into the skin. Uh, yeah, so I think this is like one of those kind of silicone type of primers. So I'm gonna shake this one up too. It's a little bit lighter. I've used this a couple times. I didn't notice anything really different in my makeup. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it has little gold flecks in it, um, which you can't really see on the skin. But I'm gonna take this just right here along my nose, on my cheek area where my pores are the largest. I'm gonna take a little bit on my smile lines as well. But I typically don't reach for these kinds of primers because I'm fine with skin texture. I'm cool with pore showing. I don't need to have perfect makeup application. Like, you know, skin is skin. But I kind of just want to see what this does. 
All right, so for foundation, I have my 100% Pure Second Skin Foundation, which I talked about in my last video. This is very, very new to me. I haven't, tr I haven't worn this uh, very much, but I have this, and I also have um, a few products, or have quite a few products from this brand called Manasi 7 or Manasi 7. Um, I have their Beauty Evolution Skin Enhancer. Um, so I'm really tr excited to try these. I don't know anything about this. Let me pull it up on my phone so we can see what we're getting into. I will say the packaging and the branding is incredible. Like if I were to have my own makeup brand, I would want my products to look like this and just the whole aesthetic. Like I love just the whole vibe of the brand. So this is a Swedish beauty brand. Um, that merges the high performance and color payoff of conventional beauty products with the nourishing and healing properties of natural, wild, harvest, wild harvested, and certified organic ingredients. The collection is designed and developed in Stockholm, Sweden by our professional makeup artist and founder and produced in Italy. Very cool. I actually got all these products from the Green Jungle Beauty Shop. I will link her shop below. She sells a bunch of just really unique, different, clean beauty brands that maybe you can't buy other places. So I'll put all of her, her, all of her information uh, below. All right, so the Skin Enhancer is an organic, all-in-one, customizable foundation, concealer, eye primer, and highlighter with great coverage and is created for an enhanced beyond perfection that lasts all day. So I kind of want to try a little bit of this first and depending on the coverage, if I feel like I need more coverage, I may go on top of the foundation, but I kind of want to see how this goes. Uh, I have not tried this at all. The shade looks so dark, but it says it works for a lot of different skin tones. So we'll see. All right, so it definitely shears out a lot. It's not full coverage. Um, and because it shears out so much, the color actually matches me pretty well. I'm gonna try and go in with another layer. It feels very, very matte too. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can build this up. This is such an interesting product. I've never used anything quite like this. It's very, very different. So I'm just going over it with a damp sponge and I actually like, I think I like it better with this sponge. The brush wasn't bad, but it was looking a little bit streaky because it is so lightweight. This is so matte, but it doesn't look bad on the skin. Like it's very, very matte. It almost looks like I, like I applied a powder, but it's not clinging or doing anything weird. It's actually quite nice. I'm going to do something really unhygienic. I'm going to stick a tiny, I'm going to stick my sponge in there just a little bit and see if I can build it up just in some small areas. So I would say don't build this up too much because it's starting to do some weird things. I feel like that first layer was really good, but I feel like when you try and build it up, it's starting to break apart a little bit. It is super matte. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this 100% pure foundation. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand with my sponge. And I'm gonna try and fix this. All right, so this is what the skin looks like. I definitely have quite a bit of coverage, but on this cheek area, I don't know if y'all will be able to tell, it's just looking real patchy. This is definitely one that I'm going to have to play around with a little bit. Um, but if y'all have used this, let me know how you like to use it, your best method of application. Um, I'm thinking you just can't layer it too much. You almost just need to do one layer and then leave it alone or mix it in with a moisturizer or something. I think I've definitely gotten a little too comfortable with filming on a couch because 
I don't ever want to sit in a chair again. <laughs> Alright, so for concealer, I have the Hint Perfecting Concealer, Duet Perfecting Concealer in the shade Medium. I've used this uh, quite a bit just on my own time, and I think I've used this a couple times on camera or maybe an Instagram. It reminds me of the Era Perez Arnica Concealer. Um, the shade is very yellow. Uh, yeah, the shades run very yellow. That is something I noticed. But I like this concealer a lot. It's definitely more of a... I wouldn't say a matte finish. Kind of more of a natural finish. So, it's not dewy yet by any means. Not dewy or glowy. But it's not super, super drying or matte. Man, skin is looking pretty darn flawless. Definitely full coverage today. All right, so I have some more of these uh, little pots I wanna use. So I have the bronze lighter. And I also have one of their highlighters. Yeah, I have their bronze lighter and their strobe lighter. So their strobe lighter is in the shade Elysian or Elysian. And she looks like that. I love the packaging, it's, it's quite heavy. And I just think it's so cool looking. So I'll swatch this one for you. But it's just a really pretty kind of warm, warm champagne. That's what she looks like. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. It is a little bit more of a, not stiff, but it's a, you really have to dig your finger in there. It's not super emollient. I'm just going to pat this on the tops of my cheeks. And I feel like from what I've tried from the brand, it's very much a cream to powder. All the formulas are very uh, cream to powder. Like they all dry down and set down, which is great for the summertime. And it's also great for your, those of you who have oily skin. All right, so the highlighter has sweet almond oil, beeswax, apricot kernel oil, and shea butter. Um, it does have cocoa caprolate from coconut oil, has silica, mica, castor seed oil. Kind of want to see what the skin enhancer has in it because I don't think I looked that up and I probably should have. All right, so the first ingredient in the skin enhancer is water followed by sweet almond oil, uh, plant-based steric acid, talc, oh, it does have talc, uh, cornstarch, shea butter, Caprolic triglyceride from coconut oil. Interesting. So I don't know if this will break me out or not. Glycerin. Okay, so it says we only use talc exclusively from the mines in Prawley that produce what many considers being the best and purest talc in the world. And it is asbestos free. We do not use talc in its loose form, only in our pressed powders and our skin enhancer. So little information on talc. Anyway. Yeah, there is coconut oil in both of those products, so we'll see how that fares with my skin. All right, and then I also have the bronze lighter, and this is in the shade Rosite. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll have all the shade names listed below, but that's what she looks like. And I'm just going to see if I can use this as a bronzer. It's not very dark. All right, well, that's the bronze lighter. It's definitely more on the rosy side. It's not super bronzy on my skin tone. Um, I would almost probably rather use this as a blush, but it looks nice. It's just different. All right, and then I also have two of their all over colors. So these can just be used for whatever you want. I have the shade Bisque and I have the shade Manchetti. So this is Manchetti, which I might try and use as a bronzer. And then I have the shade, what did I say? Bisque, which is more of a blush shade. So I'm gonna go into Manchetti. I was trying to swatch these the other day and they're so sheer. So that's Manchetti. It's very, very soft and very sheer. So I'm kind of interested. Again, with these, you really have to like dig your finger in there to get 
the product out. Yeah, very subtle, very soft. I feel like this brand is that kind of like just enhance your features, no makeup makeup, which I actually like. Um, and actually this turned out to be a really pretty color on my cheek. It showed up a lot more than I thought. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Bisque. All right, so that was Manchetti and then this is Bisque. And these are also a lot more dewy than the other, than the bronze lighter and the uh, highlighter. Uh, these have a little bit more of a sheen to them. Ooh, that is definitely showing up. That's pretty. And I think they work best with your fingertips. I feel like they blend just so easily with my fingers. That's really, really pretty. See, you can see the color on the skin. It's not like it's completely sheer. It's just very soft and very subtle. And it's just like you have a natural flush to your skin or you've got some color to your skin. Like everything is just super, super natural, which I like. So I'm excited to keep playing with these. And uh, I think with the skin enhancer, I'm gonna try and maybe mix that in with my moisturizer or with a primer and see if I can make that work a little bit better. I feel like it's a little bit dry. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder. Now, I have this powder from Wander. This is their Play All Day Translucent Powder. This is so different. I've never seen anything like this. So when I got this in the mail, I just saw the poof and I was like, oh, okay, a poof. And I looked in there and the palette is completely empty all of the powder is in the poof. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> so I was trying to get the powder out of here, like to see how it comes out. And I don't know how it comes out of the poof. So I'm gonna try and like press it onto my face and see if I can get some powder out. But I was having such a hard time the other day trying to figure this out. I think this is just too too much. The whole idea I think behind Wander Beauty is it's very on the go, travel friendly, um, like get you can get ready anywhere. Like it's very um, easy to use and kind of that just like model on the go or girl on the go. Definitely that kind of vibe. But I'm not getting any powder out of this. <laughs> like nothing is coming out. I'm going to use the Hint Encore Fine Press Powder, which has been one of my favorites. And I'm just going to take it on a small brush. I'm going to set my under eyes and then just my smile lines. But I think I'm just going to leave the rest of my skin because it's not that I really need powder. It's just the foundation is settling a little bit. So I just need to kind of put something there to smooth it over. But I feel like my skin actually looks really good. I don't, I don't need a lot of powder. All right, so also from Wander Beauty, I have their Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo in Daiquiri and Tulum. Looks like this. I have used this a couple times just in my, my, my own time. Um, even though we have blush and bronzer on, I kind of just want to take a little bit of the bronzer. I'll swatch both of them for you. I'm going to skip the blush just because I love my blush right now. And I think my blush looks really, really good. But I'll go ahead and swatch these. These are so incredibly creamy. I mean, like buttery feeling. They feel so soft. So that's what the two look like swatched. Very, very pigmented really really pretty colors it reminds me of an old elf blush duo that i used to have and uh, use all the time but i'm just going to take a tiny bit of tulum which is the bronzer and this has uh, a nice kind of sheen to it it's nothing shimmery but it has a really pretty sheen to it so i'm just going to take a tiny bit of this mainly just on the backs of my cheeks and up on my forehead but i am leaving my cheeks because I love this blush, this cream blush that I used. It's so pretty. 
Not gonna lie, I was a little worried about the skin there in the beginning, but the skin is actually looking really nice right now. I'm very happy. Um, I also wanted to mention these earrings that I'm wearing. These are by Ivy Lane Jewelry, which is my favorite earring uh, brand. She makes uh, all of these herself. They're all uh, handmade. Um, and these are some of her newer earrings and she sent these to me and I love them. They're super lightweight and I never wear hoops because I have two kids, or like larger hoops, because I have two kids and you know, things happen. But these are actually super nice and I can wear them around my kids and I don't have an issue. So I would highly recommend checking out her Etsy shop. She makes the most beautiful earrings and they're such good quality. They're so lightweight. You don't even feel like you're wearing earrings, but they just give a little bit of something. I'm obsessed with her earrings. So I will link all of her information down below. So I don't have anything new for the brows, so I think I might just speed through this. I want to use my, I really like this 100% pure brow gel that I used in my last video. I used the shade medium brown. So I'm just going to run this through my brows. And then I'm going to use my favorite brow pencil right now, which is the plume one. And I'm just going to fill in my brows really quickly. Oh, I did want to mention, I've been using the Plume Lash and Brow Serum in my brows. Only in my brows, not in my lashes. And it is making a big difference. Like, I, I rarely fill in my brows anymore because I just feel like I don't need to. My brows have been looking so good and all the little gaps that I used to have, I feel like they're more filled in now. So I just wanted to give you an update on that because I've really been enjoying that. All right, so for the eyes, um, I don't have anything new new, but I did want to play around with the Juvia's Place Warrior II palette some more. And more specifically, I want to play with this pinky shade right here. And then I also pulled my uh, Viseart shadows and i think i'm gonna dabble into the koi palette so i have a little bit of an idea usually with these makeup sessions i don't plan out a look but i was super inspired uh by kendra springer when she did her pink makeup look with aether and i don't know i've just been kind of obsessed with pink lately all right so i'm going to go into the shade dara from the juvia's place warrior 2 palette i'm just gonna take this all over the lid and through the crease. All right, and then I'm gonna go into the Viseart Koi palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here, which really cool like peachy shade with a green shift to it. It's really, really different. So I'm gonna take this with my finger and I'm just gonna press this on top of that matte shade. And it just instantly transforms the eye. All right, and then I'm gonna use this uh, Spellbinder spray and I'm gonna use it on my finger actually. Spray my finger down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into the Viseart shadow and I'm gonna pop that just right on the center just to make it even more intense. All right, so this is what the eyeshadow looks like. Isn't that so cool and different? It's like pink and peach, but then it's got that nice lime green shift to it. So I love these Viseart shadows. They're so different and they have all these really cool like intricacies to them. Um, so to kind of spice up this look a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this green shade also from the Koi palette. And I'm gonna take this on the lower lash line just for a pop of green and that'll bring out the green shift that we have going on on the upper lash line. So I'm just gonna take it on a Morphe M431, which is a nice pencil brush. All right, we were looking very summer, summery, very watermelony but I like it, it's very fun and very different, very colorful, and I need a little bit of color right now. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. All right, and then for mascara, I'm gonna use the 100% Pure Ultra Lengthening Mascara, which I talked about in my last video as well, and I love this mascara. So I'm gonna really load up on the mascara. Um, I just feel like all this color, like bright, brighter color, to ground it a little bit, adding a little bit of a heavier lash really helps. All right, and then on the lash line, I'm gonna do a nude pencil. Well, don't use this. No, I'm gonna do nude. This is from Pacifica. I don't know the name of it. I think it's their multi-use pencil. And I'm just gonna run this on my lower lash line. If I had a green, like a lime green eyeliner, I would use that, but I only have a dark green. And I'm also going to apply a little bit more blush. I think I will use this Wander blush just because I want a little bit more color to my cheeks. So I'm going to go into Daiquiri. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was a little much, a little much. All right, so for the lip, I have a bunch of new lipsticks. But I don't think I want to use any of them for today's look. Um, I have these Viola Rouge lipsticks. The packaging is so pretty. But I have four of them. Um, maybe I'll use this one in River Sand. So this is a nice kind of nudie shade. Maybe I'll take a little bit of this. And they smell like candy. Like fruity candy all right that's pretty but i do want to add a gloss because i run a really glossy lip so i'm just going to take my say moi gloss and just run that over top Alright guys, so that completes this Friday night's makeup therapy session. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you unwind and relax a little bit and just take some time for yourself and just kind of take a breath. So um, this was so much fun. This is such like summery vibes. I actually really like this look. I was just kind of wanting to throw some bright colors on, but actually turned out quite nice. I like this a lot. Very, very watermelon vibes, but I'm not mad at it. So thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you have an amazing, amazing, peaceful weekend. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.